Deleting a macro from the personal macro workbook. In the last lesson, we talked about the difference between storing a macro in this workbook, i.e. the workbook that you have open, and storing it in the personal macro workbook. And if I go into my macros button here, we can see that I have two macros that are now in my personal macro workbook. If I try to delete these macros, it won't let me. So it says I cannot edit a macro on a hidden workbook. So currently it's telling me I'm not in the personal macro workbook, so therefore I can't delete any macros that belong to that workbook. The personal macro workbook is always open in the background. That's why I can run the macros no matter what workbook I'm currently on. What we need to do is unhide the personal macro workbook so that we're in it, so that we can delete the macros and then we can go and hide the personal macro workbook when we're finished. So to do this, we go to the View tab. In the View tab, you'll see Hide and Unhide. So the first thing we want to do is click Unhide and it tells me that currently the only workbook that's hidden is the personal workbook, so I press OK. Up at the top of my screen, I now see the name of the workbook that I'm currently in, which is Personal. So now when I go to the Developer tab and I click Macros, I can see the names of the two macros without the word personal in front of them because now we're in the personal workbook. Now that we're in it, we can delete these macros. So if I click on the one called Years and press Delete, it has no problem with me deleting it. It's just asking me, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. So I've now deleted that one macro from the personal macro workbook. It's really important at this point to hide the personal macro workbook because we're finished with it. A lot of people make the mistake of closing the personal macro workbook, which is wrong. You don't want to close it because you want to be able to run the macros, which means you have to just hide the personal macro workbook. So if I return back to the View tab and I press Hide, it hides the workbook I'm currently in and it now brings me back to book eight. So for example, again, if I go back to the developer tab and I go to macros, I can see macros in open workbooks. I still see the personal macro because it's still open. It's just hidden in the background. So if I said to you, we want to delete Mac months, I'd have to unhide the personal macro workbook delete Mac months and then hide the personal macro workbook again. So let's do it again just to be sure. We go into the view tab, press unhide, unhide the personal macro workbook, check at the top, you can see you're in the correct workbook. So now I go into the developer tab, macros, delete the macro I want to get rid of, confirm it and then directly go back into the view tab and press hide. Again, take note, you should never be closing the personal macro workbook. You should always hide and unhide and then hide again.